this summer something wonderful happened at the creek. A pair of critically endangered beach stone curlews laid an egg. Beach stone curlews live on the sandy dunal systems that border onto this tidal creek. They laid their egg in a shallow depression on the sandy soil under the branches of a stunted coastal banksia tree. In the beginning when the enclosure was put up, everyone was a little concerned that the public would be upset that their park has been blocked off, but it's quite the opposite. Thirty-three days later, the egg hatched, and once the chick emerged, everyone was thrilled to try and get a glimpse of it. Volunteers from the community and bird conservation groups dedicated their time and efforts to bird sit. The bird sitters looked after the curlew family, and the curlew parents looked after their precious chick. So we're watching and getting data on how they parent and um, making sure there's no dogs in the park and that they're safe and no one's getting into the enclosure. general public are amazing. People ringing the council to say there's a dog around that we're just passing by. So it's been really awesome to be involved and see the community spirit from all the locals. It's wonderful. When the Tidal Creek was busy with visitors, it turned out that other endangered breeding birds in the area, like these pied oyster catchers, made use of the enclosure that had been erected to ensure the safety of the beach stone curlews. They're expecting the bird to, the baby, to start flying in the next couple of weeks, maybe next week, so. Sixty-eight days after hatching, the chick took its first flight, and over the coming days, it gained its confidence in taking to the air, signalling that it had reached a milestone. What we may have all thought in the beginning was mission impossible, actually turned out to become mission accomplished. Remember to subscribe, and if you liked this video, give it the thumbs up.